So let's talk about some of the things you can do in Visio to make it so that your Visio diagrams and Visio graphics work better when you take them over to a PowerPoint presentation. So I've got a flowchart here, a very simple flowchart I've created, and I'm going to add a background in Visio just for fun so that you can see a little bit better what it looks like and some of the, the theming things I'm doing to it. So if I select this, just the shapes, and I copy them, I can go over to PowerPoint and I can just paste them in and I get a nice object, which works fine if we're using a, a the default theme that has no almost no color or anything interesting about it. But most people don't do that. So let's choose a theme for our PowerPoint slide. And you'll see that as I mouse over that, a tooltip pops up that says this is the elemental theme. And when we do that, we see that the default paste behavior for Visio is to create this this bitmap object that has this ugly white background which really doesn't work well with our theme. So the first thing you can do is actually use one of the other paste options which is the picture option which pastes the Visio object as a meta file and leaves out the background. So we're getting a little bit closer here. This blends in a little bit nicer, more nicely with our PowerPoint slide but it still leaves something to be desired. So before we go back to Visio, just remember we've got the elemental theme applied. And if you look over here, you can see that PowerPoint themes are broken into colors, fonts, and effects. And you'll see that we have the elemental theme colors selected as well. When you go to Visio and you go to the design tab, you'll also notice that themes can be broken into colors and effects. And this is a good thing because the effects in Visio are a little bit different than some of the bits that PowerPoint has, but the colors actually match up pretty well with PowerPoint's color schemes. So let's just play around with the effects first. If we're going to take this over to PowerPoint, let's make it a little bit stronger. Maybe this outline effects set, and you see all that does is effects line weight and font and things like that, but it doesn't affect the colors. But then when we look in the colors drop down, you can see we don't even have to pause our mouse over each entry. We can see right below each entry the name of the, of the uh, color scheme or color set. And sure enough, right there is elemental. So the color, the names of the color sets in Visio match up pretty well with the default themes that you get in PowerPoint. So let's just do that. You can see the background changes. We're not going to copy the background over. We're just going to copy the flowchart shapes. But if we copy those and go over to our PowerPoint presentation, we can paste as a meta file and make that a little bit bigger. And you can see that that, that matches pretty well with uh, the PowerPoint slide. It looks good on the PowerPoint slide. The blue is a little dark here because there's probably some gradation on the PowerPoint slide, but that's a lot better than we had before. We might go to Visio and look for an effect that matches our font a little bit better. I don't know what font they're using here. You could play with that. Uh, you could go back and set your Visio flowchart to have Palatino linotype font if you really want to. It's not that important. Now, of course, someone will come along to your PowerPoint slide and change the change the theme on you. So let's see, down here we've got the waveform. Did it say waveform? Waveform theme. We'll do that. So, well, our flowchart doesn't look that bad, but you'll notice that we've got these dark blue backgrounds and the colors, the blues are a little bit different. Now, there's nothing we can do with this because we've pasted this object as a, as a meta file, so it's kind of removed all the intelligence from the Visio object. But there's one other thing we can do. Instead of just pasting straight from one of these options, we can go to Paste Special, and we can select to paste as a Microsoft Visio drawing object, which means we'll still be able to get at it and edit it from within PowerPoint. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here. And you can see that embedded objects get a special frame around them in PowerPoint. So this, this is a hint that this object is still a Visio object and if I double click on it I'll be able to edit it in, in place. You can see this is the stencil or the shapes window and the shape data window and the ribbon is actually turned into Visio's ribbon. So let's go over to the design tab and we're not going to change the theme but we're going to change the, the color theme 
and we're going to look for waveform and sure enough there it is at the bottom so we'll do that that looks pretty good you can see the background for the text is now white we'll click away to end our editing and voila our visual graphics match our PowerPoint slide quite well that's all there is to it a few useful tips uh, uh, it'll certainly help you to have Visio and PowerPoint coexist in a, in a much better way.